Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new series which I have called React Render Tutorial. In this introductory video, I want to quickly go over what this series is all about. Now what I'm trying to do is make this channel a one-stop shop for everything related to React. So far, we have tutorials on React Fundamentals and React Advanced Topics, React Hooks, React Redux, React Formic, and React Storybook. To add to this list, we are going to learn about the rendering behavior in React. A few weeks ago, I was reading through a few articles on the rendering behavior in React. Even though I've worked with React for a few years now, I came across a few eye-opening points. So I decided I definitely have to share what I learned with you guys, which is exactly what this series is all about. This series will help you get a really good understanding of why React components render, why do they re-render, how to optimize rendering, and also point out a few incorrect optimizations. I promise you, that all the information you get from this series will help you understand React better, which in turn will make you write better code. This series is inspired by articles written by Mark Erickson, Ken Dodds, and Ryan Florence, who you might already know from the React world. I highly recommend you follow them on Twitter and also go through all their blogs because they're really informative. And of course, there is the React documentation, which I revisited to clarify a lot of the things. This tutorial series is my take on the knowledge I've acquired from reading their blogs, from the documentation, as well as having used React for a few years now. I hope you guys will find it easy to understand and will benefit from it. Before we begin, let me tell you that this series is not for a complete beginner to React. You need to know the fundamentals of React, including React hooks. And since function components are kind of the standard at the moment, we won't be discussing class components. If you're new to React, please make sure to go through the fundamentals and the hooks series on this channel. All right, with this introduction, let's get started in the next video.